Welcome everybody to this Lightboard session uh, about VMware vSAN. In this session, we're going to look a little bit more about uh, HCI Mesh. What is it and how does it work? And um, in many ways, why would you want to use it in the first place? So one of the benefits of HCI has always been the unique ability to scale deep, add storage devices with that host, or scale out and add more hosts to that cluster and add more throughput and compute and room for more virtual machines. Um, but one of some of the one of the common critiques, um, you know, was there's only 24 drive bays in my servers. Um, you know, what if I need to keep sca scaling um, from a compute basis? You know, when I start looking at this, you know, I can I can put a lot of capacity in a host. I can put hundreds of, of terabytes. But maybe what if my compute's growing at a faster rate? So maybe I've got a web server farm that I've got a bunch of skinny Tomcat servers from a storage basis, but they're using huge amounts of compute. Um, you know, and, and also another concern with vSAN was is that the data store was tied to the cluster in a tight manner. Um, and what about if I end up with stranded compute on one cluster and stranded storage on another? Um, kind of one of the goals of VMware I like to think is to virtualize all the resources, the network, the compute, the storage, and do so in a way to get the best utilization uh, from a capacity and performance basis. And so this is where HCI Mesh comes in. This allows us to have virtual machines that run on one cluster, but consume storage from another, or have clusters that present storage to other clusters. This is one of the, the really flexible ways that we are able to uh, take what happens in a data center so often, which is um, unexpected resource utilization that doesn't necessarily align with the initial uh, design of the various uh, vSphere clusters that existed. So in this case, you could uh, take a VM, it, it's going to remain living on one of the vSAN clusters, but you're going to be borrowing that storage from another vSAN cluster. And just as it can offload some of the resources, so you're consuming the capacity, the performance over in this vSAN cluster, you may also be able to take advantage of the data services that live over in that cluster as well. Things like uh, data at rest encryption, uh, uh, deduplication and compression that is running on this cluster but isn't on this. And, and this is where we really have a lot of flexibility there. Yeah, and you might even have asymmetries and compute capabilities. It's possible that this cluster could have GPUs, which I'm not sure if you've tried to buy, it can be quite difficult to, to acquire and rather expensive. And maybe you've got those you've got an AIML workload that's running on this cluster, but you need some storage and there's somewhat running on this cluster and it doesn't have the GPUs, but it can lend the storage. In addition to that, maybe you have a, compute, a strong need to grow just pure compute and you don't even want to put any storage in there. You've got enough from the other cluster. So in this case, HCI Mesh can actually have a compute only cluster that is connecting back to the existing vSAN data store. Um, and what I will note with in this case, you don't actually have to license vSAN for the cluster that is not presenting a data store, that is not aggregating one. vSAN only needs to be licensed in the cases to where a data store is being substantiated. All hosts, obviously, in that cluster would need to be licensed. So in this way, you can we've talked about all the different ways you can scale out, you can grow, you can make sure resources aren't stranded, and from a compute basis, we can even scale compute asymmetric to storage. HCI Mesh really allows you to design for the change that you're that you really don't know may happen in your environment, and that's really one of the powerful uh, capabilities that it has. If you'd like to learn more about HCI Mesh and all things related uh, to vSAN, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com, uh, and we have all the latest and greatest information out there, including what's new with uh, the new Express Storage architecture in vSAN 8. Uh, thank you very much.